my family friends like to tell me that. One day, I was three years old, one day I just walked up to them in front of everyone and I was like, I'm going to be an actress when I grow up and you can't stop that. And they were like, yeah, we're not trying to. You can do whatever you want, but you might change your mind. And I said to them, no, I'm not changing my mind. So I was born here in Surrey in 2002. And when I was about three, three and a half years old, my family decided to move back to New Delhi, India. Now that was a bit of a change for me because living in Surrey, I just had my mom, dad, and my sister. None of my family lived here. And so I went from having practically no one to being surrounded with love and attention and all these strangers who were actually family. So it was a very big change for me to get used to that, especially because I thought of Canada as my home. So I didn't understand the concept that this is also my home, this is where I'm from. It's very hard to understand that when you're super young. But I think the bigger change for me was when I came back from India to Canada in 2010. Coming back from that, from having so much love and support and attention to coming back to having no one. You know, that was a big change, but it really taught me the value of family. So I'd actually kind of skipped a grade. I had finished grade one in India. Then I came here and only did two months of grade two. So it was very difficult for me to make friends. As you can see, I have very curly hair, but the shorter it is, the curlier it is. So in India, my parents used to cut my hair so it was like a boy cut till here. And I had an afro and I looked like a boy. So I'd get bullied for that a lot. I just kind of had to remain who I am and stay true to that because I was like, I'm not going to change who I am just because someone's not wanting to be friends with me. One of my most favorite traditions is called Holi. It is the festival of colors and it's kind of like forgiving people and making new friends. And so you take powdered colors and you color people in them. And if you're playing this in India, you don't really care who the person is. You can go out onto the streets on the day of Holi and just randomly color someone. And everyone takes it as, you know, very welcoming. Here, you can't really do that. The years where I can, I like to have a mini holy party with some of my friends so that I can color them at least and they know that this is a festival from my culture and I'm introducing them to it. I'm spiritual and I'm very connected to my culture. It's kind of like, even if um, someone who doesn't follow that religion, they can still take part in those traditions. It's not limited to that. So I have friends here who are not out from the same religion who don't have the same backgrounds but I like including them in these traditions because I think everyone needs to be culturally aware of different aspects and different things going on in the world. I was five years old and my sister had signed up for a local community play. So I signed up in the kids division of that play. I remember the rush I got being on that stage. I mean, I wasn't very good. I was a kid, so I actually waved at my parents from the stage. I just remember being up on that stage and being like, yes, I've made the right decision. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So when we came back here, I signed up for um, the Surrey Youth Theatre Company and I did a couple years with them and then I continued with in-school theater. I've been doing theater since then. And a couple years ago, I moved into learning um, film and television acting and then implementing that. So it's been very fun working on some new projects and honestly, I love what I do every single day. I think I have this drive because I've always been one to trust my gut. So at three, I decided that, and I was like, I'm not going back from it. This is 
what I want to do. I think your gut feeling knows. You know what you want to do better than anyone else. So it's important to trust that and that's all I've done. Eczema is practically a skin rash that you get from having dry skin. And I actually had eczema when I was a kid, but I didn't know what it was. I just thought I wasn't normal because of it. I had an extreme case where it covered my full legs and my full arms. And so I didn't tell anyone about that. That's one thing I do regret, that I didn't get help when I needed it. Um, so I would wear full sleeves and cover up completely because I was very afraid of judgment. And I had the right to be. When you're a kid and you're already being bullied, you don't want to give someone another chance to put you down. And I think it was when my family actually found out I have eczema that they were like, what is going on? Why haven't you told anyone? And it was kind of a realization point for me that this is okay. Um, this is my own body and no one has the right to put me down over it. I remember I signed up for my first pageant and someone had said to me that you can't win with that covering your body. And it just reinstated in me that, no, this is who I am and I'm not going to let someone's words affect how I feel about myself anymore. It was probably 13, 14 at that time. So I signed up and I continued through the pageant and I actually won. I won Miss Teenage Lower Mainland. And that was a very big stepping stone because it led to me creating my empowerment workshop. My platform during that pageant had been self-love. I thought if I could do this, so can anyone else. And I wanted people to stop doubting their worth. And then this year I competed once again at Miss Teen Canada and placed as first runner up. So I think pageants have given me the platform to do what I love and reinstate in people their own worth, their own value. I think if I was younger and still in that state of doubting my worth, it would have been a very big deal for me to go on stage like this. But it wasn't anymore. This was who I am and I wanted to show people that even with scars, even with having you know, different looks than everyone else. You can still accomplish everything you want. So I had no um, doubt in my mind about going on stage with my natural hair. I love my hair now and I was so confident because it's a part of who I am. It gives me my confidence and I wasn't gonna let people take it away. The minute I started looking at my life as my own, and not someone else's wishes, not someone else's thoughts, I became a whole new person.